Well, hello there again. So this for now uh, will be my last video uh, related related with the fall and in season of 2013. Um, there are still three series ongoing uh, that I don't know if they are going to the 25 episodes. That is Log Horizon, uh, Strike the Blood and Tokyo Ravens. Um, but in the least in the case of the Tokyo Ravens and in the case of Log Horizon, it appears to me that probably the series will continue to the 25 episodes. Strike the Blood, I do not know. Uh, but if uh, Strike the Blood does not go to the 25 episodes, then when the series ended, I will also make um, a final impressions video on the, the series. Now, this uh, video will be about one of my favorite series, new generation series, that uh, is Kakumeki Valvrave or Valvrave the Liberator, season 2. Um, I do uh, watch the first season and I did um, um, weekly reviews on it. I intended to do the same on the second season, but like I did say in a previous video, um, I did not have the time and when I got the time again, the series was more than off way through, so I decided not to pick up uh, episode by episode, unless I still did two videos, one first impressions and two reviews, uh, the first two episodes were reviewed and were in my list of Katmaki Valve but I could not do uh, the, the same for the remaining episodes of the season, uh, so I decided to simply watch the series and then kind of make a more long a final impressions video on the overall series. So, um, the series again um, picks up at the beginning when the last series ended with the students of Model 77 arriving at the moon and trying to be recognized by the Arrows Federation in a way to protect them from the Dorsh attacks. We, at the end of the other season, we learn that there are a group of people called the Magius that basically are controlling the world politics behind the shadows and they are composed of military, political officers and such from all around the world, scientists, whatever. And then we have the, the well, the heroes obvi obviously, uh, and the first part, the first half of the season basically is a group after a proposal by Aruto, that is the main character, and with the according, with the according of El Elf, uh, there was an, a group that go to Earth to try to learn more about the Magus, what are the Magus, what are the Valvrave, what are the goals of the Dorsian, and to see what are the former people of Gior that are now conquered by Dorsha thinking about this occupation. And or Arutu Tokishima, El Elf, um, Ru Saki Rukino, um, Kyuma Inuzuka, uh, Marinobi, um, Watamaya, Raizu Yamada, Satomi, Satomi, Takahi, Akira, um, Ta Takumi, the professor, and Rion. Um, all of them are, uh, they go to the earth alongside others to kind of be part of this expedition. Eventually, when they are entering the earth atmosphere, they were attacked by the Dorsian forces led by Cain and they kind of fall into Dorsian lands trying to escape the attack and they land in a place where El Elf, Adre, H. Noon, Exines and Kivir that are the group that at the beginning of the first season attacked the Model 77 with El Elf in charge. They were it was a place where they were training when they were kids. 
and we learn more about uh, the backstory of uh, them as a group and their friendship and such and um, then we see the pursuing of Kane because Kane sends as Ray and the uh, key viewer to help the ground forces to hunt down the Valvreus and at the same time he is planning something with uh, Exines, um, but eventually we will also learn that uh, near the beginning of the series, a, a guy of this group, H. Nune, uh, he kind of begins distrusting Cain and he begins his own investigation on Cain and eventually he discovers that Cain is not human. Eventually it ends up being killed by Cain, uh, but uh, before that he kind of, it appears that he enters in contact with the royalist faction that were the former rulers of GR that were overthrown by a military coup. Um, and we also learned that the criminal, the, 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 the officer of Kane, was also a member of the royalist factions. Uh, and then we have the situation in the earth, the struggle they do, uh, their operation and such, and eventually we also learn more about El Elf and about his driving motivation and about uh, his driving motivation basically is to save a girl called Princess uh, Lizawa that is apparently a member of the, Dor the former Dorshan royal family but in fact then we discover when they left her that she is already a Magus because Magus are a group that kind of possess humans and they pass from human to human through energy or something like that. So they are immortal because they are an alien race that crash landing on Earth. And to survive, they need to take over bodies of animals or of, or of humans to continue surviving. And we also learned that they were persecuted in the past mm, and killed and hunted and then, and all of this led to them to create the uh, one hundred and one council and to control of, over the world's politics in the shadows. Um, then we have several battles. During these battles, we have um, uh, these battles in Earth. We have uh, two characters that die. Uh, the characters were Marie, that we learned that she was the first pilot of the Valvreuf unit that Aruto pilots and she was a, a test pilot so because she had some problems she was kind of fired because she was not able to do that function properly but nonetheless she fights and she dies fighting into in the Valvreuf to save his friends and we also have the death of uh, Inuzuka that is the pilot of the blue um, Valvreuf uh, he dies in battle against Dorsha uh, and near the end of the se series we also have the death of uh, Yamada the pilot of the um, yellow Valvreuf he also dies in battle against Kivir at the same time uh, we see that eventually H. Nun was, was killed by Cain um, Adrei kind of um, after capturing Rukino in Earth he kind of learns because he see her switching body with the young kid and he begins wondering and eventually he uh, frees her and uh, at the final battle um, Adrei kills Kivur um, and x eventually tries to take on Cain but he loses his life in the fight because he also learned the truth about the death of a Um the, the series ends with a great battle between Okuto, Toku, Okuto uh, Tokushima and uh, Aruto Tokushima and Cain eventually Cain apparently is killed but uh, Aruto um, lose all of his memories and uh, dies at the end of the series um, and then we have some uh, views 
into the future and we have some uh, frames with in the year 211 of the third galactic empire and we see at one time we see um, uh, Satomi uh, and uh, Rukino talking with a little kid that uh, resembles quite a lot with LL and we also near the end of the series we also see that Akira the sister of Satomi is also alive because she eventually was saved by Yamada and we also see that Shoko is still alive and near the end of the se season and we also learn that in the end of the series after the death of Kane the, the humans basically after the Magus trying to do a plot that put all the students in model 77 as monsters and try to eradicate them but these backfires and eventually they were exposed and they were hunted worldwide and were destroyed and uh, uh, in the credits we see that for instance um, Satomi marries the Takai, the blonde girl that is always with him uh, Akira is surviving, uh, Rukino survives uh, he survives and we also see Shoko near the end of the series who, um, in a hall with uh, busts of Oruto and all the others that died uh, until the, the, the formation of the Third Galactic Empire we also see her using a Valfrey suit so if these frames are 211 years in the future we can assume that uh, Shoko, Satomi uh, they also will become pilots of the Valkyrie pilots because by human life standards no human can live to 200 years and looks young as he was in high school so I assume that both Shoko and Satomi they also became pilots of the Valvraves. Um El Elf, I don't know what happened. I'm convinced that probably El Elf was the one that founded the Third Galactic Empire because the kid they are looking after, uh, Satomi and Shoko, uh, and Rukino resembles a lot El Elf. But uh, I think that this series uh, deserved a uh, third season, uh, not with Aruto because Aruto is already dead, but probably uh, need some more explanations uh, about what happened after the war, or at least a nova or two of us explaining better what happened after the end of the war with Cain. Um, what happened with El Elf if he was the one that found the Third Galactic Empire, if not? If, if it was Adrei that found the Empire, because Adrei is the, from the group El Elf and that Adrei are the only two that survive, and we see in a frame that Adrei is kind of commanding the loyalist, the, the royalist forces against. Uh, I assume the, that our forces uh, allied with the mages, so I don't want to know who was the one that found the Third Galactic Empire? It was El Elf, it was Adre. Um, uh, from uh, uh, this little kid that appears in some frames in the future, he is a descendant of El Elf, he is the kid of El Elf, he is the grandchild of El Elf. What's going on? I think that the series has a lot of potential to have a third season uh, with El Elf as the main characters and the remaining uh, cast that survives and show us how they found the Third Galactic Empire or the first years or the early years of the Third Galactic Empire that will be quite good or even if they do not make a series in the least they make one or two overs showing us that and explaining that to us in the least I hope that they do it because there were a lot of stuff that was left behind and there are several plot holes that in fact were left open so and also those two blue uh, green dudes that appear in the end of the series uh, confronting Shoko what the hell are they uh, so there are uh, quite plot holes left open that I wanted to be better explored in a possible third season or in the least make two or three others explaining that stuff correctly that's my um, uh, that's my hoping. 
but nonetheless um, the series was great I enjoyed a lot it's uh, very good I liked the way the series advanced progressed um, I like I I also like the way that for instance uh, uh, Aruto died I know uh, he was not my favorite character I must say my favorite character of the series is LL uh, but Aruto I was quite uh, let's say found of him in the way that he is the guy trying to understand what the hell happened to him so um, that's qu quite interesting and he, he found himself uh, through his life some courage uh, at the end uh, that was uh, interesting and I liked it um, I shame that uh, Yamada and Inuzuka they do not have a lot of character development they don't uh, it's it's a shame uh, they were they die during the the series but they do not have a lot of development that's the one bad aspect of the series uh, but uh, the remaining surviving characters they certainly have space to develop them even better so I hope they do it in the future so that's it this is my final impressions on Kakumeki Valverev or Valverev Liberator series second series um, hope you enjoyed the video uh, stay well peace and see you soon thanks for watching